happening guys? We are in the pool today. Well, what we're doing now is I just did a warm up 400s with some drills. So now we're doing 40 times 100. So one thing I'm good at, for example, is anyways, easy swimming, have a good technique. Now, as you guys knew, I worked a lot on the 50s and 100 time. I get my 100 long course time to like consistently bombing out 105s. I have the mechanics for that. I know what I got to do with my feet, the rhythm. So you can see that now we go through my strokes. Then I'm also good with my aerobic rhythm, like holding 120 pace, 122. I have a rhythm for that. But one thing I'm not good at, and that is just because I haven't trained it recently, uh, is the threshold rhythm. Because it's not just saying, hey, I put 15% more effort on my aerobic pace, and then I have my great threshold pace. Mechanics don't work that way. Breathing, maybe, heart and lungs, but not mechanics. So, um, yeah, we're working on that. It has to do with my kick, I'm pretty sure. So I'm solving that puzzle right now how to hold this 113, 112 pace consistently. Because for 100, nobody cares about the 100 meter time. In 100 reps, everybody can bomb out a bit. That's not your threshold, but can you hold it for 400s? And that's what matters, like in repeats, uh, 400 meter times and 200 meter times consistently. Then you know what your threshold is. Every, everything else that people say, ah, I hold 110 for 100, and you do 100 meter reps, I just get a bit cringe because that's not your threshold. True threshold, because it's not just breathing, it's the mechanics, right? So it's, uh, let's see, I don't know, 100 easy, then with some 50s fast, then you see that rhythm as well, and then I do again easy, and then I do 100 threshold, um, working on that. And we go on red. really easy what means recovery now you can see it a bit better I do 50 easy and I'm 50 back in my takeout rhythm so you can see that how it changes with kicking technique and stuff so next one That is 30 second pace um, with wetsuit it's 28 I just said that the other day so I know um, now one easy and then comes the tricky one threshold again 100 don't mean anything but uh, 200 what do you have tomorrow I'll start with 200 10 times 200 holding them under 230 leaving on 250 and uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, hard easy, and then threshold around the 113 pace mark. But we'll see again. Mechanics go over time, so we need to find a mechanic that is repeatable for 1,900 meters. Otherwise, it's kind of useless. Right? Now threshold again maintainable, right? So it doesn't matter now if I swim a, I can swim a 110 per 100 any day of the week, but it's like is that stroke maintainable for 400 meter reps? Because, like I said, in the race you can't measure it so well, but you maybe have 800 meter of good swimming, and then people. Now, if you're in a group, you get away with it, right? Because in theory, if you're in the front group, you don't need a better threshold than 120, but they're gonna pick it up. So if you don't get your threshold to 108 for long course, then uh, you're just not in the game, right? Same for short course. I think they're pretty much the same anywhere. So uh, 
I'm gonna get myself there, but uh, it's gonna take a little bit of time. Don't know how long, but let's see. We go uh, red on top. was a 112, 113, I felt good, it's all about the kick for me, for most people probably, but it really aligns the whole stroke, so it's hard because you think you need a strong kick, but it's actually wrong, except for the 50s, that you actually kick from your knees and keep your hips stable, if you listen to Caleb Dressel, and he should know, he's a world record holder, but those things, they don't tell it to non-swimmers, right? Because, I don't know, they just don't tell it. So you gotta puzzle it yourself together. How to do different gears, basically like a car, you need three gears, four gears, you need the easy gear for easy swimming, aerobic swimming, threshold swimming, and fast swimming. Four different styles, not the same. Each of them have a different cadence for the kick, for your hip, for your stroke. It's not just that put a bit more effort like running. Otherwise everybody would swim well, but uh, I felt good with this one. It's kind of this patient approach to the front, but then very important. And you can see that, have a look at any top race from Central to Three Worlds to Kona. Look at the first top three, four guys when they're late in the swim, and then you go further down the route. It's not just the front part of the stroke, you can see that, but all of them you will see have a gentle, efficient kick. And in order to have a gentle, efficient kick for 3,800 meters, you need to be a good kicker. Not just hard, but the thing is, it's not hard, but it's quick and small amplitude. And to fire that consistently, for even 1,900 meters consistently, to fire that, that is difficult. That needs a lot of practice, so I'm practicing that. All right, this was just a short check-in video filmed with the iPhone actually, so that's the first. But uh, this way we can do it here in the pool, a little bit sneaky. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you want to see more of my journey, uh, feel free to subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.